देर आर सब क्यूमुलेटिव लूप्स एज वेल क्यूमुलेटिव लूप्स आर दो लूप्स विच वर्क ऑन द प्री डिफाइंड वेरिएबल्स सम लूप्स इंक्रीमेंटली कंप्यूट्स अ वैल्यू दैट इज इनिशियलाइज आउटसाइड द लूप दिस इज समटाइम्स कॉल्स अ कम्युलेटिव सम एज वेल एंड एज वेल वी कॉल इट अ कम्युलेटिव लूप्स एज वेल सो हेर इज एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई एम राइटिंग सम इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड आई एम राइटिंग फॉर आई इन रेंज वन कॉमा इलेवन आई एम सेंग सम इज इक्वल टू सम प्लस आई मल्टीप्लाई आई सो वट आई वॉन्टेड टू डू विद दिस प्रोग्राम इज आई एम ट्राइंग टू प्रिंट द फर्स्ट टेन स्क्वायर ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट टेन स्क्वायर रूट सम ऑफ लाइक फर्स्ट टेन स्क्वायर रूट सो फर्स्ट आई एम डूइंग द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ द नंबर्स एंड देन आई एम एडिंग अप ऑल द नंबर्स विच मीन्स आई एम ट्राइंग टू प्रिंट द सम ऑफ फर्स्ट टेन स्क्वायर रूट नंबर्स सो लेट्स राइट इट डाउन ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड अदर एक्सरसाइज दैट आई हैव मैंशन फॉर यू इज राइट अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम दैट कम्यूट द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ एन इंटीजर आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू इट एंड कॉमन डाउन so let's first write down this program and execute it how everything works in the cumulative loops so let's execute the code the code that i that we have having like in the slide that i was showing you up was this let me just correct few things so this is the code through which i can print the sum of first 10 squares so let's run this so here i am getting 385 which is correct how this is calculating first is we have to initialize a variable in a cumulative loops you have to first define any variable so same way i am going to execute the sum of first 10 numbers so i am writing sum is equal to 0 so sum is a normal variable which is which i am creating and just basically i am storing zero in it nothing but zero then i am writing for keyword then i am writing a in range range is let's suppose i want first two 10 numbers so 1 2 11 i am writing then i want sum is equal to sum plus i it means in the sum variable which is zero initially whatever has been stored what will happen basically it will take up the value out of this in the a it should be a not i yeah so it will take it up from there where will store the value on it and then will check out the expression that we have written which is sum is equal to sum plus a so it means 0 plus a a 0 plus 1 is 1 then it will continue up with the second number which is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 it will store 3 in some variable then it will take another variable which is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 it will take up then take another value then take up then it will continue it up to number 10 and in the end i am going to print sum sum is a global variable not a local variable only a is the one which is a local variable so let's run this so if you can see it's printing 55 for us which is the sum of first 10 numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 if you are going to add up all the numbers you will get 55 as an output so cumulative loops are those which requires a pre initialized variable and will take up the expression for that you can rewrite this ex rewrite this expression in this way as well using sum plus equal to a this is the short form of the this expression we call it assignment operator when i am writing plus equal to a if you have not watched the video on the operators go check that video If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and don't forget to do the exercise question that I have given to you and comment down your codes. I will check it out and pin out the correct answer.